like to take you with me on this very strange journey. The backstory here is that in the past I did like a guest vocal for this friend of mine called Paolo Valerga in Italy. He was also responsible for putting together this uh, board game back in the day, like 10 years ago, for Ethereum called O11. And we were there in Torino and so forth and were filming on the streets and all that. But, you know, he and I got, got along well. And uh, just a couple of days ago, he got back to me and he asked me, okay, this is a weird project. You're, of course, entitled to say no, when you're not interested. But this is the kind of thing that gets me going because it's, it's exciting and nothing you've done before. Uh, instead of just doing like doing the drums or, or a guest vocal, he asked me to actually do everything. He wrote a song, the lyrics, the basic melodies and uh, riffs and, uh, and so forth. And, um, and then he wanted me to produce it, to mix it, to master it, to, to play all the instruments. Pretty much do my own interpretation of it. So that's where I'm at. And uh, first of all, I had to try to figure out the song. It wasn't that complicated, something like this. <laughs> started so maybe you want to hear his demo song and then you can see the difference or improvement because the only way is up a little different uh, intro there like starting out with maybe acoustic guitar even Kind of a little bit inspired by Scorpions, I suppose. Three times, and the drums come in on the on the third time. It's a cloudless sky. Yeah. So, and I just keep working with, you know, instrument by instrument and just add on. But I think I have a pretty good sense of, of, of the basic structure and uh, arrangement here. But I keep it here during the process, making small clips now and then uh, from start to finish. We see where we end up, and I'll leave it up to you to, to uh, decide whether it's, it's crap or not. If, if there was any improvement, or if I totally massacred it. We'll see. I guess it's time to track some guitars here now. Uh, I cheated a little bit and tried it out a little bit, but so we need to add up and double it up. So we'll see where it goes, okay? <laughs>
Yeah, I did some changes here and uh, kind of doubled one of the solo parts, which was actually the verse. So I doubled that. So I could start out like the third verse a little bit slower before it picks up in tempo and, uh, and, and uh, intensity and all. Let's see if I can come up with a uh, suitable melody for that one. Man, the scoffer nights behind the sword, like the liar steal the horde, nor the magus, nor the wise. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, what can I say? Some sort of summation here is in place, I guess. Now I've been adding instrument on top of instrument, going back and forth, but still nothing is carved in stone until it's done. So I will just keep fiddling around until I find something that I think is suitable and brings out the best in the composition in itself. And uh, it ain't over until it's over or until the fat lady sings, as they say. And uh, I gotta say that I'm Quite excited to see what Mr. Paolo Valerga will say here. He's the judge of this. I'll let him be the judge of it. And um, I hope I can nail the mix. So the verdict is thumbs up instead of thumbs down. We'll see what happens. So stay in the loop, okay? Over and out.